Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're talking a little bit of where are we at with Windows 10? What's happening? So this is the latest build of Windows 10 right now, which is built 10,049 and was released just at the end of March. It's a very interesting um, experience. We are seeing new features pop up. Um, first, very, very nice, you know, crisp, very fast. Uh, I've used it a lot and I must say no bugs, no crashes, uh, except maybe Cortana, Cortana, which is the assistant that, um, you know, you can talk to and ask stuff. Uh, seems to be a little buggy, but apart from that, uh, the system itself works really well. One of the nice features is the new Spartan browser right here. You know, this is going to be the new browser in Windows 10. Uh, for those of you who are saying, oh my God, um, I need Internet Explorer maybe for work or for some uh, other reason, or you just want to use Internet Explorer, it's still going to be there. Uh, Microsoft did say that it's going to be included in uh, Windows 10 when it gets out. So, you know, you'll have Internet Explorer 11. Uh, when Windows 10 ships, but the emphasis, you know, that Microsoft will put is on Spartan, which is that blue icon here. And Project Spartan is that new browser. It's an interesting project. Um, lots of features and interesting stuff. Does feel a little bit like Google Chrome, but uh, it is unique in its way. Uh, fast. Works well. I've really went through a lot of web pages with this, and um, I've not had, you know, I've, I didn't have to go to Internet Explorer for a page because it didn't load well here. So it seems to be already pretty stable. Um, one of the features that I think is interesting, especially if you work with people and need to share web pages, that's kind of cool, is the new feature where you can actually uh, simply, you know, right over a page. It's the feature is called um, WebNote. And all you have to do is, you know, for example, okay, I want to, to show someone uh, this, you know, you can circle it direct on the page, you can, um, you know, underline whatever you can write stuff. So, uh, you know, this is interesting. And once you've done that, you can save it to your computer with this little save button. You can share it with different people via email, via, um, you know, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and so on, which is also interesting. So different options here for the fill and all. It's kind of cool. Uh, I think that could be an interesting feature. Why not? So this is the brand new browser, Project Spartan. Um, Apart from that, like I said, new start menu is still pretty much the same. Uh, we still pretty much have the same experience of how it works. Um, I like the start menu. Lots of complaint. People saying, well, I'm not sure I like that. I personally enjoy it. So uh, it depends, you know, it's always a little difficult to please everyone. There's always someone, somebody somewhere that doesn't like um, something new. But personally, the fact that you'll now have uh, programs and apps uh, in the start menu is pretty cool. You can have your, you know, start menu full screen. Um, there's uh, also still the uh, Windows Defender Antivirus, which has, by the way, it's uh, a little icon that shows up now in the uh, in the taskbar. One of the things that maybe uh, could be better is the new way that they've shown uh, the wireless networks as you see here it's kind of difficult to see what is the signal strength uh, because they've used gray and black they might have used other colors i don't know I've, i would have used like a set of colors red yellow and green maybe that would be nice you know to have red meaning your signal's low yellow meaning it's you know average and green wow strong signal great signal i don't know this is kind of hard to see. Um, that, I think, should be changed. Uh, we still have, of course, in our experience, the uh, new control panel that slowly is building up. So when you go to all settings, you now have this control panel that, you know, 
shares the different settings that you might have on your computer uh, slowly, but this uh, apparently will really completely um, change the way that we go to settings, meaning that the old control panel apparently will disappear when Windows 10 ships. You'll have to go through this control panel to find stuff. So is it going to be a good idea or not? It, it, you know, it helps with the way they are actually doing it. But of course, you know, any users that use the good old control panel and know by heart where everything is, for example, I know by heart pretty much everything in the control panel because I'm a tech guy. I must say that here we'll have to, you know, search it a little bit. But of course, you have to find a setting that is there that can help you. So if I'm searching for something, then, you know, um, like device manager or something, then you, you can just type it and it's going to, you know, show up. So here you have device manager. Now this will show you the old device manager, but there are going to be changes to that also, apparently. Uh, update recovery and everything is still there. The account setup. You know, we're getting to uh, slowly a, a, a completed Windows 10. It's still, of course, a build. So, you know, if you want to try it, anyone that looks at, at this and says, oh, how, how can I get, uh, you know, this built and try it? Well, all you have to do is, uh, you know, just Google um, Windows Insider Program or Microsoft Insider Program and you just, you know, create a free account, download the image file, install it. Now, keep in mind, this is unfinished software. So this is not something to replace your Windows 8, for example. It's not a good idea because this is really unfinished and you'll have to reinstall eventually. Um, so this is only, you know, if you have a, a machine, a computer lying around that's doing nothing or uh, you, you, know, you wanna have a little fun weekend project, well, that could be cool, you know, install Windows 10. Um, and try it out. Of course, you can upgrade your Windows 8 to Windows 10 technical preview, but I really, really don't recommend doing that at all. You should stay with Windows 8 and at least do a dual bo boot, dual boot, or um, you know, go to uh, simply um, another computer and install it in a fresh copy. This, what you see here, in my case, is a laptop that I have that was lying around doing nothing and I've actually turned it into this technical preview machine. But I've not, um, you know, done a dual boot for technical preview. Uh, I really wanted to have it on a specific machine that is only technical preview. So if something goes wrong, you know, there's no problem there. So th this is pretty much where we are at in our uh, Windows 10. Uh, one feature that a lot of people will enjoy because I've had so many people say, okay, I got a problem. Mail does not have pop accounts. Well, the new mail app will in Windows 10 apparently have pop accounts available. So that's good news. And for anyone that is, um, you know, wondering, don't forget that Windows 10 the official release is somewhere at the end of summer, apparently. And all Windows 8 machines will be, um, you know, will have free upgrades to Windows 10. So you'll be able to upgrade your machine to Windows 10 free of charge. Uh, from what I hear, it is apparently going to show up as an update in your Windows updates, meaning that at some point when Windows 10 comes out, you'll be offered upgrade to Windows 10 it, through your Windows 8 machine. So that's going to be an easy upgrade. And all your, because um, the, the, one of the questions a lot of people ask me, well, I'll be able to keep my programs, my files, folders, and so on. Yeah, everything is going to stay there. If you just upgrade through the upgrade path from the uh, Windows update, you will keep everything in your computer. There's not going to be, you're not going to lose anything. But you know what? 
if you do upgrade, it is a good idea to save every important file files to hard drive or USB key before you do it. You know, just in case something goes wrong, because unfortunately, even though the majority of people work well, uh, there's always, you know, a small uh, percentage of computers that goes wrong when you upgrade. So uh, this is going to be uh, interesting. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a video about Windows 8 or Windows whatever coming up. We'll be slowly, you know, changing this channel towards more Windows 10 stuff as we go through. And of course, we'll still keep all the good, great videos of Windows 8 for those that stay behind. Um, if you subscribe, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. Hope you come back to our channel. Bye-bye.